Hey everyone, this is Sun Young and I'm half amazing. Um, so I know that this is like the third house tour that I've done so far, but I keep moving and so I'd like to show you my house again. <laughs> this is my new house. Um, so I looked for a house online um, when I was in the US. It was quite a process, which I might tell you about later if you're interested. I can tell you about how to, how to find a house in Korea and what you should and should not do. But I got myself a little one room. It's called a one room, so it's basically like just a studio apartment. So everything's all concealed into one room. I, I might not film out in the hallway just because I don't want to creep anyone out because I just moved here and it'd be like kind of awkward. So when I first came here, I was scared out of my mind, let me tell you. The taxi guy dropped me off and I didn't even know if this was the right building. Cause I can't call anyone because I'm abroad, right? So I contacted the lady with my phone with whatever data I had left. And I was like, could you let me inside or tell the, oh gee, the house owner to let me inside because I'm here and she didn't reply. So I stood outside for a good like 10 minutes and it was pretty cold outside. So I like called her and with my app, not with my phone, cause I can't use my phone. And then, um, and she was like, oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I made you wait. So she, she called the lady um, who owns the house. So the lady came down and let me in and she said, you're gonna stay in this room for, a, for about five days um, because your room's not ready yet. The girl who is living in it is still living there right now and she's moving out in five days. So I had to stay in a room that wasn't mine for five days. It was kind of a hassle because I basically had to live minimally. Everything in my suitcases I couldn't really take out because I just had to pack it up again. It was pretty big. It was bigger than the one I'm in now and I really liked it. I'm a little bit sad that I don't get to live there, but my house is pretty okay. The house owners are so nice. They're an old couple and they're married and they live together um, across from my actual room actually. Like the first day that I moved in here, I was like, hey, is there like a store nearby? Cause I'm really hungry <laughs> and I need to buy some food. She's like, yeah, there's one down the street. And then she came back later. She's like, I just looked and the store doesn't open till like 11. So she brought me a little yogurt and like a bunch of little kimbaps on a plate and I was like oh my gosh that's so nice like you didn't have to do that and then finally my room was done and I moved to my actual room this one she she had like a little bowl full of like really really obese strawberries okay seriously this is the most freakishly large strawberry I've ever seen look at this thing it looks like a it looks like a the the guy came in and he fixed my bed. He like drilled a drilled a leg into it or something. And he was like, "Listen, don't stress out about anything. You came to Korea, so you have to live happily. And if you have any issues, let me know right away, and we'll fix it for you. So don't stress out." And I was like, "Oh, at least someone's on my side." It's really hard to move to a foreign country. I've lived in Korea before, you know, for a year. But it's not the same when you're completely on your own. Like I've had to do all of this by myself and I'm completely alone and I don't have friends yet. I just moved here and I, the school hasn't started and so, you know, it was, it was nice to know that someone was looking out for me and I felt so happy and so grateful to them and I feel like once I get a job, I want to buy them like a cake or something because I feel, you know, I feel like I should. And also I broke a shelf on my first day. <laughs> It was made of glass. I tried to put my hair dryer into the bathroom shelf and it, like for some reason, the glass shelf just slipped off and broke and shattered all over the floor. And um, when I had the guy come in and fix my gas stove cause it wasn't working, he found it and he was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Did you get hurt? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, I didn't, I'm so clumsy. It was an accident, I'll, I'll take care of it. He's like, no, 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 it's fine. Did you get hurt? And I was like, no, he's like, okay, then it's fine. As long as you're not hurt, it's fine. I live by Yonsei University, so I can walk to there in about nine or 10 minutes. Also, I live about 10 minutes from the Hongik University Station. Everybody goes to Hongdae because it's full of shopping, um, food, uh, there's live performances. I've actually filmed Hongdae, maybe, it's been on my channel about three times already now. So this is my front door, and then this area is for shoes. So shoes in Korea are never allowed to go past this point, otherwise it's a 
big no-no and people freak out. This is my shoe closet. This will just be storage. So my little suitcase will be inside of here. It's not right now because I have some things at my friend's house. And so I've kept it over there. And then this one I have always used, even last um, last year I used it for laundry. So I just put my dirty laundry in here. And then when people come over, I close it so that no one can see my dirty laundry. It's a great idea. You know, we've got light switches. Korean light switches are never like the flip up and down ones. They're always the press with your hand kind of ones. Um, and then this is to manage the temperature. This is just hot water. I think this is the temperature in the room and this is um, to turn the heating on for the floor. So the floor is heated. And then when you go out, you're not supposed to turn it off completely. You're supposed to put it on this setting right here because otherwise the pipes could freeze and then it will break and then you have to pay for it. And that's not really great. So, um, but that's only in the winter. And then this is my bathroom. So I bought all of these things except for this. I, this came when, like when I came in here, it was already there. Um, mirror. Hello. This thing is another issue because it does that, which I'm sure it's not supposed to. And like, it's really hard to like put back into place. It's kind of finicky. So I don't know if I need to call someone to fix that or what I should do about that, but that's a thing. And then I bought this to put my toilet paper on because there wasn't anything. And then this is the shelf I broke <laughs> on the top. See, this one has lines and the rest of them don't because he made a new one. It's a pretty standard bathroom. And then this is the shower head. So I take a shower, you know, holding a thing. I bought this new loofah. Isn't it cute? It's like white and it's got little sponge hearts inside. These are my soju glasses. I bought them from Jeju, but they broke. So I think I'm gonna get some super glue and maybe see if I can fix that because they're really pretty and I like them. Um, anyway, this is my fridge. So I've got my Minnesota uh, things and I have a picture of my dad and this Las Vegas coin that my friend gave me. And then it was, it's a pretty big fridge. This actually was whoever moved out of here. I actually took it from her. <laughs> I found it outside in the trash and I was like, that's a waste. I could use this. And so I took it. Uh, also, the, the owners gave me this too. I think someone must have thrown it out and they were like, oh, she could use that. So this is a mattress topper. And when you come to Korea and your bed is hard, you need to buy one of these. These are like the hardest mattresses that I've ever slept on in my entire life. I'm serious. It's like sleeping on the ground. It's really no different from the ground. You can feel the metal springs. You can, it's like, it's just, it's rock hard. I also bought some eye cover thing because the window does not have a curtain. And I'm trying to figure that out. And when the sun rises, my window happens to face that. So the sun shines into my room every morning and I'm kind of a sensitive sleeper. So if the sun's up, then I'm up. <laughs> Let's see, what else? This is my kitchen setup. It's kind of dirty and messy right now. Uh, this is my desk. It's a kind of a puny desk and I'm wondering how it's all gonna work if I'm filming and me on the computer, <laughs> but I'll figure it out. It's no big deal. Closet. And when I came in here, there were these like weird little colored things with really strong smelling um and i think it was like a mothball i think it was and it smelled so bad so she took them out of my room and i put lavender things in here instead just because it smells better and i think it's supposed to repel moths not sure uh, i'm not gonna open my window because the the fine dust is pretty bad today but this is my view i get to see other people's backyards <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'm not really full energy today because <laughs> because I'm so tired. I've only gotten like six hours of sleep on average and that's that's fine, but I'm more of like a seven to eight kind of a person. And school starts soon and I'm really afraid about that. Actually, I'm so nervous. Let me tell you about some of the like the do's and the don'ts in Korean apartments. Um, firstly, ask a lot of questions to your house owner about what you should and shouldn't do, how to throw away the trash, and um, ask if the, your walls are soundproof because if they aren't, then you have to be really quiet. Otherwise, everyone's gonna hear you because everyone kind of lives close together and like, you don't want to bother your neighbors, you know? And the walls are pretty thin here. Even if they are soundproof, the walls are pretty thin. So just be careful about noise, um, which is why I'm not talking at like my full volume right now because I'm not sure if it's soundproof or not. I just want to be careful. Let's see, recycling is important in Korea. You should always throw things away in the right bins. Um, my apartment's a little different. We don't have bins. We just have like one plastic bag that like 
all the recycling goes into, which is kind of weird, but also maybe ask about like if you can flush toilet paper down your toilet or not, because I know that some older buildings you can't um, and some you can, so you should probably figure that out. Other than that, I don't really know. I haven't lived here long enough to know anything. But yeah, I like my house. It's small and you know, it's, it's good enough just for me. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please press that like button. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe.